I'm not gonna lie, I might have cut through the earth cable. So I'd run it in the actual board. Just before I get into the video properly, I just want to clarify why we're repiping this. In theory, some of this could have been flushed out, but a lot of this microbore is just on the surface in conduit. I've already edited the video and it looks like we're doing unnecessary work or could be accused of that, but none of the radiators work downstairs. We've got bits of eight mil, bits of 10 mil everywhere. So the customer has asked us to replace it on 15 mil drops. That's what we've been asked to do. In theory, some of it might have been okay, but they've had that many, that many problems with the heat system. We've just been asked to replace the pipe work. So we're only doing what we've been told. You see some of this is a bit of a, a bit of a mess. So that's what we're doing. So we're getting to the video properly now, but I just wanted to clarify that. Now then guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, this morning's already gone wrong completely. I was supposed to be fitting a, the MP level deck on that job I started on the last video, but they've actually sent the wrong kit out. They sent a tile of one instead of a vinyl. So I've had to push all the floor layers back. Uh, and it's m messed me up basically. Hopefully the kit will be here tomorrow. So yeah, my morning's already gone wrong. It's been a super stressful few days really. Whether I've taken a bit too much work on or not, I'm not sure. But sometimes you don't know what to do for the best, whether to take the jobs on or not take the jobs on, or you know, you've got to keep everybody busy. But this job I need to get get on with really, so I need to sort of talk. I'll quickly show you what the job is. Ooh, what was that? Um, old Potterton Suprema coming out, 28 mil flow returns. We're putting a new new boiler in there, obviously condense, upgrade the gas, you know the the lock. Um, none of the radiators on the ground floor work. So we've got an issue with them. What, what I'm gonna do, it's all eight mil microball copper. What I'm gonna do is put 15 mil drops down, put 15 mil drops down and pick up all these. Not one single radiator works. Some of them are an absolute mess. So we're gonna tidy all this up. Obviously we've got microball all on surface. Absolute rubbish. Um, so yeah, we're gonna try and tidy all this up. Um, it's an empty house at the minute. The new tenant's moving in a week tomorrow. So I really need to get a wiggle on. So yeah, not, as I say, the reason that the old tenants moved out is because the heating didn't work properly. So we've got a few drops to put in. A few drops to put in um, downstairs, cloak room as well. Is there a radiator, radiator in there as well? So I'm hoping that it's 22 and 15 mil under the floor, not done on manifolds. If it's done on manifolds, I've got quite a bit more work to do. Uh, it's, had a new, it's had a new pump, it's had new zone valves recently so we're leaving them uh again all a bit of a mess so yeah plan is we pull this micro bore out find find the flow and turns and then bring 15 mil up into the radiators just to make it a bit so it actually works these ones actually do work in here to be fair but i'm still going to do away with all the micro bore so that's the plan anyway there is uh two radiators on the top floor but they're on 15 mil they've been taken off the airing cupboard so yeah, all these to do obviously, nice and easy because I've got full access, no furniture in the way, which is good. What have we got in here? Just one there as well, uh, vinyl floor. See, so that, that's like a job I need to get on with. So what I'm gonna do is get the heating drain down, um, start, get, start getting some floors up and start getting the drops done. I've got the boiler and everything in the back of the van, but I really want Jacob or Harry to fit the boiler because I need them to get some experience for the gas portfolio. So, there's 22 mil gas on the outside. I'm not sure where it reduces to 15 mils, but what I might do is get that floor up and then just bring a 22 across. The meter is just on the outside over there. Obviously, we've got a hob and a, I think there was a gas fire in there. So, yeah, that is the plan. So, we get drained down, we're upgrading the programmer and the thermostat and everything. So yeah, we'll get drained down, we'll start putting some drops in and see how well we get on today. It's already half past nine because I've lost two hours sorting that empty floor out. But yeah, that's that's the plan. We'll crack on with it. I need to shut up talking and start working. First job as always is to get drained down. Now these drain off taps, find a good bit of hose. Ow, my finger. These drain off taps, you have to put a bleed vent in the outside, if you didn't know. I'll probably not pick the absolute. Not even get in there. Smoke alarms, bane of my life. If anybody remembers the uh, house renovation job we was on. I 
if it, I've got the cold feed off when we let a bit of air in the system it'll probably go let's just get that on there get that outside right, so that is that is draining it probably is a little bit slow because I didn't take the air tap out all the way to the bleed point um, but yeah that's draining uh, so we can open all the upstairs air taps once we've lost a bit of pressure and then we can start to get some floors up and have a look at some pipe work I was thinking the reason it's not draining very fast is because the pipe works probably about blocked but the colour of the water that came out is absolutely jet black which is not good for a microball system so yeah we'll see we'll see what happens but one side of that's probably blocked I say all these radiators were stone cold they've had numerous flushes and bits like that but I think we end up just moving the rubbish around I've just sucked one of the drops out and you can see it all up look at the size of them chunks that's in one 10 mil pipe so in theory potentially you could have flushed it all out but look I wonder why the heating didn't work properly it's full I don't even know if we got it all that could have just been the loose look absolutely full Make sure the zone valves are locked open and then it should drop the, all the water out of the pipes. And then we'll just open the air taps on the radiators and that should all suck in. Just go around and open all your radiators, that at the highest point. Obviously your downstairs won't be drained uh, because they're all on drops, but you just have to do each one at a time. So these ones on the top floor have been added, they're 15 mil. I think what they've done is taken them out of the airing cupboard or the airing cupboard is directly below up and then just gone across. This has obviously been like an attic, an attic conversion. So there's just two bedrooms up here, both on 15 mil. So these should be fine. We're just going to do the rest of them. They've had nothing but trouble with this heating system. Probably lack of, uh, you know, lack of cleaner and stuff like that in it, but they just want it gone. It's caused them that much trouble. Drain off taps on the upstairs radiator, look beautiful. Right, just lifted the carpet up in this bedroom. I've got a drop, but directly below here is the lounge. Um, so I'm gonna have a drop in that corner. Obviously pick this one back up, pick that one back up, and then there's one in the hallway. What I'm hoping to see is some 22 or some 15 mil pipes coming along here. And I'm hoping it's not all done off a central manifold. If it is, I'll have to get 22 across from the manifold would probably be under the airing cupboard for a guess. So I'll get one of these boards up and we can have a look at what is exactly going on with this house. See what secrets it holds. I don't, I never like the way they do them. They just ask for trouble in my opinion. All the dirt and rubbish seems to block up in them and they've had nothing but trouble. So everyone's done like that. Some of them are kinked as well, which don't exactly help. But yeah, we'll get, get this piece here up and that then we can get four radiators done off this section and just work around the whole house like that and we have 22 mil pipes there i didn't quite cut in the right place but it wasn't a bad guess so that makes our life a little bit easier they've left all the rubbish under the floor look but yeah i'm hoping they are flow and return obviously i can't quite tell yet they could in theory be hot and colds but unlikely i wouldn't run them that way if i was doing the job um but yeah i'll get that one up there and hopefully we've got 15 mil coming this way and then well they, they must turn pretty close because that's an outside wall and they must shoot across so i need that bit up there i tried to cut it on the, the joist you see on the board plus i needed to know my depth but i pretty much guess that spot on um so yeah get that one up and we can see a lot better and then we can start getting drops in i like to get my drops in first get them piped up and then we can pick the this is the easy bit up here the ball is the easy bit as well it's just finding where fit runs i don't know who suggested them cheap ebay uh, multi-tool blades but they've been absolutely brilliant for me i think i got 60 for about 19 pounds and they've been superb honestly have so if you want like cheap multi-tool blades get yourself on ebay i'll try and find the ones that i bought and put a link not that i'm trying to sell anything but i was paying four quid four or five quid in the merchants for a blade and they are I can't honestly notice any difference between that and the more expensive ones. For what I use anyway, just wood, they just cut wood and metal and basically it's just floorboards and stuff like that we're cutting up, so perfect for that. I'm hoping to see some pipes. Yes, yes, 
Yes, that's what we wanted to see. That's what we wanted to see. So we've got 15 mil going that way. Imagine they've taken it to the drop and we've got 22 mil feeding across there. So literally they've just round the micro bore on the last bit and that's the bit that seems to be causing all the trouble on this job. So that's superb. You don't know how happy I am. So yeah, we'll get, well, I've really put it in the wrong place there, haven't I? But so I need to find my drop. My drop is going to be here and obviously pick that one back up so i need some more chipboard across there but i might be able to fish that last piece into that valve so yeah i can literally get no end of this done i don't i'm not going to get done today obviously but i can get a fair way on i can get a fair way on if i can get well i don't know the drops will take me an hour a drop won't they so if i can get well i see what i can get done i, I would like to get most of it done but i'm not obviously i'm not gonna <laughs> gotta be realistic as well because there's about seven rounds downstairs so yeah, we'll see what we can get done. We'll work our magic powers. Plan of attack, obviously we've got 15 mil coming across here. I'm going to put my drop up, which is going to end up roughly there. Uh, pick that up off the 15 mil. I'm going to pick that one up off the 15 mil and do away with the 10 mil to the middle of the radiator. Can you see it? So they basically bring them out in the middle. And then I'll cut that one off there. I might need to lift a little bit more floor because there is a nog in and try and fish along to pick that to pick that side up that's the plan and then that does away with all this all this 10 mil all that 10 mil copper and then it's just a case of working working my way around so i've got another drop going there by the front door where that radiator we're draining from so we can drop well we'll have to drop here somewhere i think and pick that one up get across to the other side uh depending on how they've done that because we've got it's hard to get your bearings sometimes, but we've got my phone's ringing. We've got uh, the hallway one to pick up. And then we'll just get that. Right, so I'm dropping them down behind the picture rail. I need three clips on the wall, equal spacing. I try and do my first one about 200 from the top, and then you can still get a drill in. And the bottom one, but again, about 200 from the skirting board. Because then you've got room to get your bearings, so whatever that is, they'll be staying on the whole house. So 3 clips equally spaced up the wall dead level I put two bits of shorter pieces of coppers just so I can mark where they go through the ceiling and I'll leave them for the whole job so I'll just go around and mark all my drops for them and then we can just we'll probably have to put a little set at the top just to miss, miss the joist which is tight on that wall and then we'll just put put across drain off tap at the bottom new valves and that's the first one in so I've just took, stuck two short pieces up I believe lifting the floor upstairs is a, a joist tight on that edge so i'm going to step them out slightly so i'm going to drill there and there just so we can offset past that point that's sort of the best i can do with that so i'll drill 215 well 216 mil holes bring them out then i'll drop full lengths down the bottom but i'll just keep them two bits aside so just to mark out all my drops it makes it a bit easier or i find anyway and the laser really does come in clutch when you're doing jobs like this and then most of this will be hidden by the picture rail anyway, the pipes, the curtain rail. So yeah, that's the best I can do. That was what was agreed with the customer anyway. And they are getting them, they are getting them decorated before the new tenant moves in. They're just going to give it a lick of paint. So yeah, it should be perfect. At least they're going to have a heating system that works. So we've drilled them. We've actually come there and there. You can just see the top side pipes. So two offsets and then we can connect these into them. 
right first drop in ready to connect in upstairs so nice and level um best you can do with them really what i like to do is get all the drops put in because that's all the work get everything connected upstairs so next one we'll find these pipes up above that bathroom next one in there and then in there and what we've we got this side i think we've got uh that one there which might be off this bedroom i'm in actually we'll have a look we'll work our way around get all these drops put in and try and start to get stuff connected up but one in there and then one in there so yeah that's that's the plan if i can get all them in today or a lot of them in today that's most of the work that's most of the work done because honestly connecting up at the bottom doesn't take too long at all right i've got a drop to try and get over there my pipes are actually coming through through that one there where it's marked and then obviously picking up this one and I'm hoping it's 22 through there so I need to find them the other ones are just there so they're going to be there somewhere so if I get that piece up joists are going that way there's nothing there they're just cables in there electrician I haven't screwed them down so yeah they're just cables no pipes there so ideally I want to drop in that corner if I can't I'll have to drop next to the radiator there in the hallway i'll see what i can do if i can get some of this floor up, i might be able to go across and then fish it back into that corner which will probably look better so yeah that up that up and then we can have a proper look they might be hot and cold they're probably going to be hot and cold coming through there because the airing cupboard is is over there they're going to be heating coming this way and then hot and colds into the shower and toilet room so yeah we'll get that up i'm not going to lie i might have got through the earth cable if I'd ran it in the actual board, which is a bit silly, it was only bonding that radiator anyway. I'm not just sure if you need that. The electrician's come in anyway to wire the boiler and stuff up, so I'll ask him. Not much I can do about it now. I honestly didn't realise that bit of floor had been up before. Obviously, it broke a little bit, but it is what it is now. I can soon repair that. But the joists change direction in here, so it'll make it easier to get the one behind me. But I just need to get these ones cut off, so that might be a little bit tricky. I'm sure we'll sort it. I'm just going around exposing all of the drops basically. These are the ones that drop into the cloakroom. I've got my 15mm pipes just there. So I'm going to cut them tees out and drop 15mm back down. I can't find the one that goes in the ensuite. It's a little bit of a weird setup because it's above the stairs. So obviously I need to cut all the old legs off. You see, I, I don't know if I showed you around there, but one of them is completely kinked. This is the problem. So obviously we've got flow and turn. I can't see them. I thought they'd be on the other side, but I can't seem to find them on the other side either. So they've probably taken them up in the wall. I can't, there's a joist like another six inches away where my end of my fingers, and I can't feel the tees. So uh, might struggle with that one a little bit. See if I can find it on the other side, have another measure. And then it's just literally a case I want to get everything exposed. I've got to actually go and pop and do another job in a minute as well. So under pressure, I need to be here, there and everywhere. But yeah, we'll uh, find that bit. I've got one, it's probably going to be under them fitted wardrobes on there. The bit downstairs, that one might be a bit of a, a struggle to get to. Although I can just take the bottom out of the wardrobe, worst case scenario. I'll have to have a measure, measure that one. But all the others are looking pretty okay. I've got one. Obviously this one's easy enough. I've got one directly below there. And then the ones, that the, the ones this side aren't too bad, I don't think. Not sure where the one is under the boiler yet. Obviously, I can get that one. There's one on the right hand side of the boiler, but I can probably work that one in. But we are getting there. And about what they've done with these, I bet they brought the tees further along onto the shower and then brought them back. But so, what I might have to do with this is cap them off in the wall because I've got obviously I'm not taking the shower tray out and then put two two new feeds off there and then just pipe it pipe it along as new so I can do with that. Yeah, that's probably what's going to end up being done on that one. So it's always awkward these jobs, trying to get over stuff. Yeah, to be fair, if I open the wall up, I might be able to have a look. But we can rip that rad off and have a look. These are in. Obviously, be careful with your eye check ceiling because some of it can contain asbestos. Obviously, always check to make sure. But yeah, got them in. Obviously, I can see a look around the, the holes. Blinking Sierra alarm, I'm changing it anyway. It's going in and skipping a minute. Um, that one's in, 
just put a double pipe clip on there just to hold it and running a little bit low on copper i've got one more drop to do there i just haven't got enough pipe left to do that uh, i've got one drop to do there that one's fairly easy though that one's in that's the one i did first to be fair that one's in and then the one in the the one in the lounge is in as well so they're all in i'm going to go upstairs and start getting some of these connected in now because i'm running low on copper i can finish the drops off so i've got all the bits of floor that i need gopro's going all over the place what's going on with that time that clip up um so yeah start getting some of these connected in that's the one in the uh i don't know what you call it office i guess that one so it's just a case of cutting out the 10 mil and reconnecting these back in with 15 mil new radiator valves so yeah i'll crack on with that for a couple of hours i haven't put that drop in yet um that's not a drop over there that's just needs picking back up so cut them off 15 mil there take him um, take 15 mil up so yeah i'm gonna crack on with getting that in again that one i'll put some bends on they will twist around where i want just to bring them across yeah i'm gonna get all them in this afternoon that's a pretty good pretty good day then that one's awkward i'll leave that one to last right get these pipes got i've got a dish underneath maybe a little bit left in there unfortunately i can't get my milwaukee cutter in that's the only thing sometimes it's too big but it's not the end of the world it is good when it, you know it's good when you can use it so it's not time to help if we had some better pipe devices but I suspect it a little bit in. Get that off out of the way. Let me walk in. See how black it is. You guys probably can't see it. But yeah, the water's so black. We're going to have to wash this whole system out anyway, flush it all out before we put the boiler in. But it's just the micro is a lot more prone to blocking. This system's been flushed. It's been, it's had different companies come out and do it. In the end, the system just just want to get gone. A bit like me, they want me gone. No, I need to get gone. I need to get going. Out of it. Should be fine. We've got one of these fittings bucket from the merchants. You guys are all on the one. They've set the teas out in two packs though. I've never seen that. What a waste of plastic. What a waste of plastic. Normally you get like a bag, 25. Yes. Deciding to solder this one rather than press, it's just it's obviously pros and cons. Obviously, pressing is quicker, but soldering is cheaper. Um, I need to get some hair felt out of the van in a minute, same as they've done there. And I've just got them two to connect onto there. But we'll get this one soldered up. I'm still using my double gas lamp method just because I haven't got around to fix in. To be fair, sometimes this one does light.
swim pipe never helps. I don't know if you guys saw any of that because the camera was on the wonk. Um, but I'll clean them two off in a second and then just connect them onto there. That's first one connected in then. And all these drops are done away with. See, so soldering's always a bit... Uh, my soldering's never the best. But it'll clean up okay. It's just when you've got water in your pipe, I always like to put a little bit more on anyway. Don't want any leaks. And then it's just a case of going around connecting everything in. First one all connected in. I think we've got seven to the upstairs altogether. I think so. Next one I'm going to do is that one. I'll probably just cut them, cut the T's, cut them T's out. A couple of sockets, well, one socket and a new T, and then swing them across to there. That one will be easy enough, and we'll get this upstairs one done in here. And that's all this room done then. Floors can sort of go back down, uh, or just temporary back down. We obviously need to check for leaks and try and get some lagging on the pipes as well if we can. Yeah, going fine. How thick and sludgy. And that was just in that 15mm pipe. It's like ink. Ink jet black. And obviously that is what causes the problems with the micro ball because it is a lot it is a lot more sensitive. 15mm pipes generally okay, obviously they do block up. But micro ball, especially when they're been pulled back around it decreases the diameter it's not as bad as plastic granted but it's still our issues with it it's just lack of lack of maintenance i guess but yeah you leave people leave stuff until it gets to a point where it doesn't work and then it is hard but yeah that's what we're doing we're back to the old hacksaw my mate could do a whole heating system on one hacksaw blade Probably a sharp one, like this one. Oh, that's painful, that. To be fair, I do have a slice for um, 10 mil. It's in the balance, so. I'll get to the end of the job and bring it in like all I'm going to do is socket them out and then I've cut that section floor there up and I put my T's in there instead I think it'll work better just getting this bit bent in just guess the bend as they always do. Generally doesn't matter if you're trying to get it really neat, obviously you want to try and measure everything, but under a floor, nobody's ever gonna see it as long as it's as long as it's okay, I actually need to tweak that touch. He's done that before. That'd be fine. He's done that before. Slide that that way. I'm quitting that pipe further back anyway. My flux brush. I think that's about the uh, tenth job it's been on. Same brush. I 
don't get many, don't buy many flux brushes. Beautiful. Again, I'll put some hair felt on the joist, but that should be fine. Get that one soldered up. That soldered up. Then I'm just gonna elbow into that into that radiator. We'll just have to cut into that and elbow into that one. Oh, sorry, socket that one and do away with all that. And that's this room all done. I've got them in. Got them in. Them in. Get in there. I'm sure you've all seen the ratchet. Ratchet red valve removers. Save a little bit of time. You don't have to have one. They are good. Got some minds about rusty up. then taking the rads off and cutting all them off and then filling the wall as well that's just going to look a mess otherwise but for the, for the minute I'm all that bothered I still use Loctite 55. I know you can get this rapid blue stuff, but never had a leak with this. Never had a leak with it. You put six or seven turns on. Not over the end of the pipe, if we can help it. Not on the leak. A bit naughtily, a little bit of jet blue over the top. Not supposed to. But been doing that for years. Doing it like that for years. Generally run a hacksaw. Hopefully without scratching the uh You put your TRV that way. Always a debate. The rest of the ones are done that way, so I might keep them. I might keep them like that. I'll probably put the lock shield down anyway. So I never got a mug out really. As you grab my laser, I'll laser down, cut that out, and get that connected in. What I'll do So 
long for what me. Be alright. You're good. It's just gonna be on the board a bit, I think. <laughs> square bend on a piece of pipe and kick it out. Guess all your measurements. And guess works all right as long as it's right. <coughs> you bet it's not there. What do you reckon? You bet it's. Uh, it will be alright. We always are. Today. 
as always with your your valves, a bit of jet blue over your olive, something like that. And then don't use any uh, don't use any grips or anything on your. Not that you guys can see anything. Don't use any grips or anything on your nuts because you'll scratch them all up. Should have left the laser on it, shouldn't I? To look well nice, it? Put the laser on, it'll be peed up. She's about right. That's about right. Looks more impressive with the laser, though, doesn't it? Just need to tighten that nut up once it's cooled down, but use that spanner on it. I don't want to touch it yet, but that won't mark the chrome. I, I actually got that a little bit too hot to be fair. You can see how it's gone. I don't know, like all heat damage. I mean, it'll wipe off, but you don't want to touch that until it's until it's completely gone off. Otherwise, you end up cracking your joint. And I'm done. I actually didn't get it all done in a day. I know there was more than a day's work, but I came back. Um, it's actually the Monday. So, yeah, it's all in. What I've done is I've left the boiler for Jacob and Harry to do. So I will, I'll be on site anyway. Obviously, we need to upgrade the gas, sort the condensate. I want to connect the power flush machine to them two pipes first and give everything a good wash out. I have been taking the radiators off as I've been doing and emptying them outside. I know it's not the same as a power flush. They look all right actually. I've managed to hide the pipes majority very well, I think. We've still got one or two scrag ends to cut off. Yeah, and a couple of clips to put over. I'll get that one in a minute. Yeah, all in. Uh, obviously new TRVs, new valves. Um, drain off tap there. I drain, well, I put a drain off tap on all the drops, as it happens. So drain off tap on every single drop, because it makes life so much easier for the next person. And yeah, um, hopefully the system should be a lot better. Certainly when we get it all flushed out, again, pipes all in, as neat as I can. Um, I'll show you upstairs as well. I had one or two, oh, not awkward bits, but one or two bits upstairs which were a little bit tricky. Keeps me fit up and down these stairs. Um, so yeah, all these, well you saw this room anyway. This, this was the most awkward one to be fair. Uh, got all them in. All them in. There's a little bit of jiggery pokery under this floor, but I managed to get it all in. Obviously, that was a bit of floor that broke. But yeah, all in, all done. And as I say, I'm going to get Jacob and Harry to do the boiler just because they need some experience for their gas portfolio, which is fair enough. Um, but I'll be on site, so don't go reporting me. I am gas safe registered and I can work under supervision. And that's the only way they'll ever learn is to do the job. Um, so yeah, I think I'm going to end this video there. I might try and do a little bit of filming when they're doing the flush and stuff like that, but I'll be more showing them, not that they don't know how to do it, but just like explaining all the regs and stuff, because at the end of the day, I don't know how much they're learning at college. Um, they probably do know, they probably know more than me actually, but it's just remembering the information. It's just doing it on site, it's a little bit different. Uh, obviously they'll work all the gas rates out longhand and stuff like that was, I just use the app. Um, I'd, I'd have to look in the book how to do it longhand now, to be honest with you. Um, but yeah. As I say, I might do a little bit on that. Uh, if not, uh, thank you all for watching. Sorry, it's been a bit of a long one. And uh, yeah, we'll see you all next time.